Embarking on ambitious construction projects can often lead to remarkable feats of engineering and architecture. However, in the world of construction, things don't always go according to plan. From towering structures that refuse to fall, to ill-fated demolitions, the construction industry has seen its fair share of unexpected twists. Today, we'll delve into construction projects that took unexpected turns, showcasing the challenges and surprises that can arise in the pursuit of architectural excellence. Join us as we explore the remarkable records of 20 construction projects that didn't quite go as planned. Number 20. The Tower of Pisa Nestled in the heart of Italy, the Leaning Tower of Pisa stands as an internationally renowned UNESCO World Heritage Site, drawing a colossal six million curious souls each year. Yet beneath its iconic tilt lies an architectural oopsie of monumental proportions. In the ancient annals of history, around the 13th century, this tower was erected to serve as the freestanding bell tower of the Pisa Cathedral. Its signature four-degree lean, believe it or not, dates all the way back to its inception in 1173. The architectural plot twist began unfurling as the tower's second floor came to life. You see this tale of architectural woe unfolds on a foundation of loose and wobbly subsoil, a mere three meters deep. The ground beneath just couldn't bear the weight of this towering ambition, and thus the lean was born. Now, you might wonder, how on earth did this architectural mishap survive the test of time? Well, the secret sauce was an unplanned hiatus in construction, courtesy of the Republic of Genoa's skirmishes with its neighbors. During this pause, the stubborn subsoil had a chance to settle and toughen up over the centuries. With a determined slant, the tower persisted through the decades, inching ever closer to a full 5.5 degree tilt by the 1990s. Concerned Italian authorities began to fret that this historical marvel might finally succumb to its own inclinations, especially since the neighboring town of Pavia had witnessed a sudden tower tango to the ground in 1989. Pisa was not taking any chances. The tower's doors were promptly closed to the public, and a rescue mission was launched. The first order of business? Removing the bells from the tower's head to shed some weight. Then, like a strategic game of architectural chess, cables and lead counterweights were strategically deployed to steer the tower back from the brink of collapse. By the dawn of the 21st century, the tower had been coaxed back to its signature tilt, just shy of four degrees. Today, the Leaning Tower of Pisa remains a magnet for tourists worldwide precisely because of a centuries-old architectural oopsie that gifted it an enduring charm. In this topsy-turvy tale, one thing becomes clear. Sometimes, a blunder can indeed become a blessing, and a little lean can go a long way in securing a spot in the annals of history. Number 19. Lotus Riverside Complex In the bustling metropolis of Shanghai, known for its towering skyscrapers and rapid urbanization, there was a tale that echoed the ambitions and challenges of China's construction industry. In the year 2021, China, the most populous nation on earth, was in the throes of a housing and infrastructure boom like no other. The country's insatiable appetite for growth had led to a relentless construction frenzy. Over six million residential properties sprouted across the nation in that year alone, solidifying China's status as the global leader in construction and real estate. However, within this whirlwind of development, there lurked a shadow. The speed and scale of these projects often came at a cost quality. In the relentless pursuit of quick returns on investment, corners were cut and standards sometimes faltered. The consequences of these compromises would eventually become evident in a catastrophic incident that shook the nation. On the fateful morning of June 27, 2009, Shanghai awoke to a thunderous roar. But it was not a storm that raged over the city. It was the sound of a 13-story apartment building collapsing to the ground, almost intact but laid on its side, narrowly avoiding nearby structures. Amidst the chaos, tragedy struck as a worker inside the building, merely collecting his tools, met a fatal end. Initial investigations into the disaster pointed fingers at an ongoing excavation for an underground garage beneath the ill-fated building. 
It was a revelation that sent shockwaves through the construction industry. The very foundations of the structure had been undermined by this excavation, leading to a sequence of events that would culminate in its downfall. The excavated soil had destabilized the adjacent riverbank, causing it to collapse and merge with the ground. Over time, the soil turned to sludge and grew unstable, eventually proving too weak to support the weight of the building above it. The tragedy was not just a structural failure. It laid bare the glaring issues within the industry itself. As investigations deepened, it came to light that warnings had been sounded before the catastrophe struck. The supervising company responsible for overseeing the project had repeatedly raised red flags, cautioning against the risks posed by the loose soil. Regrettably, their warnings had fallen on deaf ears within the construction firm. What made matters worse was the revelation that the supervising company had been hired by the very construction firm it was meant to oversee. This conflict of interest gave the construction company the power to influence the reporting of problems to the local authorities' quality control department. They could delay or diminish the supervising company's fee if undesirable issues were brought to light, creating a web of complicity that allowed problems to fester. In the aftermath of the building's collapse, the spotlight turned on Shanghai Zhongxin Construction, the company behind the ill-fated project. Nine key individuals from the company were detained for further investigation. Meanwhile, a wave of disillusionment swept over the people who had invested in properties from the developer. They demanded refunds and compensation, their dreams of new homes now shattered. This tragic chapter in China's construction history served as a stark reminder of the perils that could accompany the race for rapid development. It underscored the importance of balancing growth with quality, safety, and transparency. Lessons that would resonate far beyond the confines of that collapsed building in Shanghai. Number 18. Dalhousie Generating Station. Hailing from its inauguration in 1969, the Dalhousie Generating Station in New Brunswick, Canada, served as a formidable coal and oil-fired power plant, generating up to 315 megawatts of power for local communities. However, as times changed, the plant's operations became uneconomical, and its closure in 2012, despite local protests, was inevitable. In 2015, the time came for the demolition crews to step in, with the goal of removing the outer shell of the power station and its imposing chimney stack. As charges were carefully set, anticipation filled the air. The detonation sent shockwaves through the surrounding area, but instead of witnessing a complete and controlled collapse, the power station had other plans. Only the front portion succumbed to the explosives, leaving the intact upper section perched precariously in place. It stubbornly refused to descend any further. With an unstable structure and a risk of further collapse, the crew was left with no choice but to carefully devise a new plan. Over the course of several weeks, this stubborn power station was meticulously deconstructed with the aid of cranes and wrecking balls, finally succumbing to the inevitable dismantling. Number 17. Ohio Edison, Mad River Power Plant Back in 1927, the Mad River Power Plant proudly opened its doors in Springfield, Ohio. This colossal powerhouse featured a 20-megawatt steam turbine, initially fueled by coal. Following some upgrades, it became responsible for powering a significant chunk of the town. However, as time passed, concerns about its environmental impact grew, leading to its eventual closure in 1981. Interestingly, it wasn't until 2010 that the demolition crews finally descended upon the site. Their primary adversary? The towering chimney stack. Extensive surveys were conducted, charges meticulously placed, and the countdown commenced. Yet, a critical oversight haunted this operation. They had failed to adequately cut the rebar on the rear of the stack, utilized an excess of explosives, and employed delayed detonators. This mishmash of factors created a peculiar outcome, a collapse deviating from the intended direction. The towering structure tumbled incompletely, leaving workers no choice but to watch this unanticipated spectacle. The cascading rubble wreaked havoc, damaging two active turbines and disrupting two 12.5,000 volt power lines. Over 4,000 homes were plunged into darkness for several hours, 
while the estimated damage soared to a staggering $19 million. In the aftermath, protracted legal battles unfolded as authorities sought to determine blame. The power company pointed the finger squarely at the demolition crew they had commissioned for the ill-fated project. Number 16. Anglesey Power Station The Anglesey Power Station in Victoria, Australia, served as a coal-burning power plant from 1969 until its closure in 2012. Its demolition in 2018 aimed to remove the outer shell and its towering chimney stack. However, the execution did not proceed as planned. Upon detonation, only the front portion succumbed to the explosives, leaving the upper section of the chimney firmly in place. This unexpected outcome posed challenges due to the unstable structure and heightened concerns of asbestos contamination. A meticulous investigation determined that specialized expertise should have been sought for the demolition. Thankfully, the situation was resolved without further complications. Number 15. The Pontiac Silverdome The Pontiac Silverdome, a Colossa 83,000-seat stadium, stood as an iconic structure in Pontiac, Michigan, since its grand opening in 1975. For a quarter century, it held the title of the NFL's largest capacity venue, serving as the Detroit Lions' home. Beyond football, it hosted a diverse array of events, from the NBA and FIFA World Cup to the spectacle of WrestleMania III. However, with the inauguration of Ford Field in Detroit, the Silver Dome found itself without a purpose. Eight years of emptiness later, new owners attempted to breathe life into the aging stadium. By 2017, the decision was made to bring it to the ground, making way for fresh endeavors on the sprawling 199-acre site. The demolition plan involved a staged takedown, with the initial phase targeting the upper section. Come December 2017, it was time for the grand finale, a controlled implosion. However, the demolition gods had other ideas. Explosives detonated, a few puffs of smoke emerged, and yet the upper section remained stoically in place. The demolition crew, in bafflement, discovered that around a tenth of the explosives had inexplicably failed to detonate. While confident that it would eventually collapse, they couldn't predict the precise moment. To mitigate this risk, they returned the following day to complete the job. Several more months passed before the Silver Dome was reduced to a pile of rubble. In 2019, Amazon stepped into the picture, announcing plans to erect a warehouse on the site, relegating the Silver Dome to a distant memory. Number 14. Sampung Department Store In the late 1980s, Seoul, the bustling South Korean capital, was swept up in a whirlwind of construction and development. Millions of dollars poured into the city as it basked in the limelight of being chosen as the host city for the 1988 Summer Olympics. This feverish rush for progress birthed numerous buildings, and within this construction frenzy, an ill-fated structure emerged, the Sampung Department Store, a nine-story shopping haven nestled in one of Seoul's most bustling commercial districts. Originally intended to be an apartment building, fate took an unexpected twist when Lee Jun, the future chairman of the Sampung Group's construction division, opted for a radical change in plans. Support columns, crucial for stability, were sacrificed in the blueprints to make way for escalators and an additional floor. Concerns echoed through the construction company originally tasked with the project, but their warnings fell on deaf ears. Lee Jun showed them the door and installed his own team. Two years later, the department store stood tall and inviting, attracting a whopping 40,000 daily visitors, making it a retail heavyweight in the area. However, by 1995, ominous signs began to surface. Cracks marred the top floor, a troubling foreboding. Lee Jun's response? Merely relocating stores and goods to the basement, brushing off the early whispers of peril. On the fateful morning of June 29, 1995, those cracks had multiplied to the point where the entire fifth floor had to be shut down. Engineers were summoned, and they sounded the alarm. Catastrophe loomed. An emergency board meeting convened, during which evacuation was proposed. But tragically, the allure of profits kept Lee Jun from heeding these dire warnings. Shortly after the meeting, reports emerged that Lee Jun himself had left the building, seemingly abandoning ship. At 5.52 p.m., ominous cracks filled the air, prompting a frantic evacuation attempt. But fate had already sealed its verdict. 
In mere seconds, the store's roof gave way, crashing down onto lower levels. The entire South Wing's support columns crumbled, trapping over 1,500 souls beneath the rubble. The aftermath of this horrifying disaster claimed the lives of 502 people, etching itself into South Korean history as the nation's largest peacetime tragedy. In the aftermath, justice was served, with Lee Jun, his son, and key associates receiving over a decade of imprisonment for their negligence. The catastrophe also served as a wake-up call, leading to a comprehensive overhaul of South Korea's construction safety laws and regulations. It laid bare the deep-seated corruption within, revealing that high-ranking city officials had accepted bribes from Lee Jun during the store's construction. They, too, faced the gavel, receiving a 10-year prison sentence. Today, in a contentious move by the Seoul government, the Sampung department store's site has been sold to a private developer. A luxury apartment complex now stands upon this somber ground. Yet a memorial stands elsewhere, a solemn reminder of the tragedy that forever changed the city's skyline and its commitment to safety and integrity. Number 13. Zipfeed Mill Tower Standing as the tallest structure open to the public in South Dakota from 1957 to 2005, the Zipfeed Mill Tower was an iconic landmark. However, plans to revitalize the area led to its demolition. The tower's grand height of 202 feet and its substantial mass made it a unique demolition challenge. Intricate preparations involved cutting reinforcing bars, placing explosives, and ensuring that the structure would fall safely. As the explosives were detonated, an unexpected phenomenon occurred. The tower released an immense cloud of dust and debris enveloping the neighborhood. This unexpected outcome raised concerns, particularly due to the potential presence of asbestos and various other chemicals within the debris. Cleanup efforts were launched, and the demolition company faced questions about their handling of the operation. Number 12. Danish Silo April 2018 saw a crowd gathering near the harbor in boarding Denmark to witness the transformation of their skyline. For as long as anyone could remember, a silo had stood tall, marking the harbor's edge. However, urban revitalization plans called for its removal, paving the way for a new fairy town. Demolition experts meticulously planted explosives around the silo's base, checked and double-checked their preparations, and initiated the countdown. The detonation occurred with a thunderous roar, sending plumes of dust and debris into the air. The crowd watched in awe and anticipation, but they soon realized something was amiss. Rather than falling as anticipated, the silo veered in the opposite direction. The unexpected outcome left everyone puzzled. It appeared that the demolition crew had used insufficient explosives to fully bring down the structure. The tower, now leaning at an unusual angle, became a momentary local attraction, a leaning tower of Denmark. But there was no stopping the demolition team. After just 40 minutes, during which workers removed additional structural supports, a nudge from an excavator finally toppled the leaning tower. A monumental cleanup effort ensued to clear away the 4,400 tons of rubble, clearing the path for new construction. Number 11. Miami Condos Extreme caution is paramount when embarking on the demolition of a building. It's imperative to ensure that a structure only succumbs to its inevitable collapse once the area is meticulously cleared, and, above all, that the safety of everyone involved is secured. However, there are moments when events unfold unexpectedly, potentially resulting in dire consequences. In the year 2018, preparations were underway to dismantle a condominium in Miami, but a grim truth soon emerged. It was far more fragile than initially assessed by surveyors. Demolition crews were in the midst of positioning explosives around Marlboro House when a sudden and startling event occurred. Witnesses recount that no explosive sounds reverberated through the air. Instead, they were met with the eerie symphony of concrete crumbling. This unsettling turn of events caught some individuals off guard, highlighting that not everyone was aware of the impending incident. Fortunately, the residents had been evacuated well in advance, a crucial factor that averted potential disaster. In the end, only one worker sustained injuries, a small consolation given the gravity of the situation. 
Subsequent investigations delved into the heart of the matter. What had caused this unexpected collapse? In the realm of demolitions, it's standard protocol to meticulously cut through support beams, a prerequisite to ensuring a controlled descent. However, in this particular case, it became apparent that these very beams were the linchpin keeping the condominium intact. Once these vital supports were removed, the course of events became inevitable. The building's demise was sealed. Number 10. Turkish Flower Factory In 2009, a demolition crew in Turkey attempted to bring down a 1928-built flower factory in the west of Brisbane. Packed with over 220 pounds of explosives, the structure initially appeared to be on the cusp of a graceful collapse. However, it had other ideas. The flower factory, instead of neatly falling, settled at a precarious angle, leaving locals gazing at a newfound leaning tower. The demolition experts had seemingly sampled their product a bit too much. In this curious limbo, it remained for 40 tantalizing minutes while workers adjusted structural supports. Eventually, a gentle nudge from an excavator coaxed it to surrender, leaving a mountain of rubble to be cleared before new construction could proceed. Number 9. The Eon Center, Chicago, United States The Eon Building in Chicago, originally known as the Standard Oil Building, is an 80-story office building that has undergone multiple name changes and facades. Despite being structurally sound and earthquake-resistant, the original design with Italian Carrara marble proved problematic. The marble panels were exposed to extreme weather conditions, causing them to bow outwards and leading to cracks and warping. In 1990, an $80 million project was undertaken to replace the marble with white granite. This involved removing and replacing 43,000 pieces of marble on the exterior of the building. Despite the extensive renovation, the building remains occupied. Number 8. Toxic Smokestack In 2020, residents of Little Village, Chicago, found themselves facing an alarming situation. The Crawford Coal-Fired Power Plant, in operation for 96 years, was finally demolished. However, the aftermath led to concerns about potential health hazards. The detonation sent not only the smokestack, but also a massive amount of dust and debris into the air. This unexpected event enveloped the neighborhood, leaving residents worried about exposure to harmful particles, including asbestos and various chemicals. The demolition company faced scrutiny for not minimizing the dust cloud's impact and for not providing sufficient warnings to the local population. The incident highlighted the complexities of demolishing industrial structures in densely populated areas, especially amid a pandemic. Number 7. St. Petersburg Sports and Concert Complex the St. Petersburg Sports and Concert Complex, unveiled in 1980, played host to a myriad of events from tennis tournaments to concerts by global icons. However, as time marched on, it outlived its purpose, marking it for demolition in early 2020 to make way for the world's largest ice arena. Demolishing structures of this magnitude is no straightforward affair. Extensive surveys and precision cuts are essential to ensure a safe and efficient collapse. Or so it should be. Tragedy struck during the process when, while disconnecting the stadium's wall and roof, the entire structure suddenly crumbled without warning. Workers, still inside and on top of the building, were caught in the harrowing collapse. Despite the subsequent investigations and inquiries, the incident stands as a stark reminder of the challenging and unpredictable nature of controlled demolitions. Number 6. Berlin Aquadom located inside the Radisson. In the heart of Berlin, inside the Radisson Collection Hotel, lay a watery wonder known as the Aquadom. This colossal creation stood as the world's largest cylindrical aquarium, stretching an impressive 25 meters into the heavens and cradling a staggering 1 million liters of aquatic life. The Aquadom wasn't just a mere decoration, it was the hotel's piece de resistance boasting a population of over 1,500 tropical fish, representing a whopping hundred different species. But wait, there's more! To up the ante on aquatic adventures, this majestic marvel even sported a transparent elevator shaft that coursed through the middle. So if you ever dreamed of sharing an elevator ride with a clownfish or two, this was your chance. 
Maintaining and cleaning a million-liter aquarium in the heart of a bustling hotel was no small feat. It was a chore of epic proportions. But it was necessary not only for the well-being of the finned residents, but also for the safety and delight of the hotel guests and curious passers-by. But then, on that fateful morning of December 16th, 2022 disaster struck. The entire aquarium decided it had enough of being a fishy paradise and burst forth, unleashing a million-liter tidal wave right into the hotel lobby. It was like a scene straight out of a Hollywood blockbuster, except this time, there were no superheroes in sight. The aquatic eruption wreaked havoc within the hotel's once pristine interior and just for kicks, demolished the building's entrance as if it were a pesky sandcastle at high tide. The sheer force of the water was so intense that even the local seismographs raised their metaphorical eyebrows in astonishment, detecting shock waves caused by the aquarium's dramatic demise. Thankfully, this aquatic apocalypse happened in the wee hours of the morning when the streets were sparsely populated. Only two unfortunate souls ended up nursing injuries and taking an unexpected trip to the hospital. Authorities breathed a sigh of relief, realizing that had the chaos unfolded during peak hours, it could have been a true calamity. Now, onto the grand reveal of the underwater mystery. Investigations pointed their fingers at material fatigue as the likely culprit behind this underwater catastrophe. The experts explained that the stark temperature contrast between the warm, cozy aquatic abode and the freezing cold outside, reportedly below freezing that fateful night, might have caused the acrylic panels of the aquarium to weaken, finally giving in to the pressure and breaking the aquatic dam. And so, the Aquadom's tale, a saga of aquatic splendor, hotel grandeur, and a rather epic watery exit, left us pondering the age-old question. Can a fish tank be just too darn big for its own good? In this case, it seems it could. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. We've got a fascinating story for you about the Intempo skyscraper in Benidorm, Spain. This bad boy is the tallest residential building in the European Union, standing over 200 meters high with a whopping 47 floors. But let me tell you, its journey to completion was anything but smooth sailing. Back in 2006, construction started with big dreams and a massive 92 million euros loan from Caixa Galicia, a Spanish savings bank. They thought they could finish it in just three years, but then bam, the global financial crisis of 2008 hit and everything came crashing down. The construction company even went bankrupt. Talk about a plot twist. For years, Intempo was left in limbo until 2017, when a company called SVP Global from Connecticut swooped in like a hero. Now here's where things get interesting. There were rumors swirling around that this gigantic tower wouldn't have any elevators. Can you imagine? A skyscraper without elevators? A Spanish newspaper even ran with the story, causing a frenzy in the media. But sales manager Rafael Balesta shut down those rumors real quick, saying, We are constructing the highest residential skyscraper in Europe, so how is it possible to build without elevators? Touché, Rafael. How do you think the rumor came about? Comment down below. Number 5. Crimean Residential Building Sevastopol, the largest city in Crimea, underwent changes in jurisdiction, coming under Russian rule in 2014. Authorities immediately embarked on redevelopment, targeting what they deemed illegally built residential buildings for removal, safety concerns, and the need for industrial facilities drove this endeavor. In late 2014, a 10-story residential building was packed with explosives. The first detonation triggered only partial success, with one half collapsing as intended, but the other stubbornly stood at a precarious angle. This predicament rendered further explosive attempts too perilous. Over the following week, workers methodically dismantled the obstinate structure with a crane. Number 4. Australian Beer Silo Australia, renowned for its beer, saw a demolition crew attempting to take down a structure west of Brisbane in 2010. This silo, standing tall for half a century, had stored malt for a nearby brewery. However, changing land needs led to its demise, returning the territory to the local train authority for a new transport link. Over 220 pounds of explosives were meticulously packed within the structure. The detonation appeared successful at first, 
setting the silo on a path of collapse. But here's where the demolition plot twisted humorously awry. Instead of falling neatly, the structure adopted a jaunty lean, leaving locals puzzled and the experts scratching their heads. Unsure how to rectify the peculiar situation, the demolition crew improvised. For 40 suspenseful minutes, the leaning tower of beer silo stood, while workers gingerly removed more structural supports. In the end, a simple nudge from an excavator coaxed it to finally topple. Now, all that remained was the colossal task of clearing 4,400 tons of rubble before new construction could commence. Number 3. Liverpool Apartments In post-war Britain, a multitude of residential blocks rose to meet the housing demands of the time. However, as urban planning evolved, many of these structures were deemed outdated and unsightly, calling for their removal and replacement with more modern designs. In 2016, two towering behemoths in Liverpool, Churchill House and Montgomery House were earmarked for demolition. The meticulous planning for their controlled collapse initiated with explosives strategically placed around their foundations. As the charges detonated, the buildings failed to yield as expected. The demolition team had to repeat their efforts twice more to finally bring down Montgomery House. Churchill House, on the other hand, conformed to its fate only after an extended battle of wits between demolition experts and an obstinate structure. These struggles served as a testament to the durability of post-war construction and the challenges posed by demolishing structures that were built to last. Number 2. Chinese Residential Building Demolishing buildings presents unique challenges, as each structure has its own quirks and characteristics. In December 2009, a 22-story residential building in Luzhou, China, became the site of an unconventional demolition. The plan involved splitting the building in two sections that would fall independently due to the structure's design. However, when explosives were detonated, only one half collapsed as intended, while the other remained precariously balanced. This unforeseen situation made it too dangerous to approach for further explosives. Workers had to carefully disassemble the remaining section using a crane over the course of a week. The incident served as a stark reminder of the intricacies involved in controlled demolitions. Number 1. The Leaning Tower of Dallas This reality led to a surreal and unexpected spectacle in Dallas, Texas during the year 2020, when the carefully orchestrated demolition of an 11-story office building gave rise to an inadvertent and momentary landmark the Leaning Tower of Dallas. The stage was set for this dramatic event. City officials had successfully secured funding for an ambitious $2.5 billion development initiative, encompassing residential properties, workspaces, and entertainment venues. The sole obstacle standing in the way of this grand vision was the aging office tower. Anticipation swelled as residents and onlookers from across the city gathered to witness the impending collapse. It was a moment charged with excitement and curiosity. The initial explosives were set, and spectators watched as smoke began to billow from the building's windows. These smaller charges seemed to be working as expected, contributing to the gradual descent of the structure. However, amidst this carefully choreographed demolition, an unforeseen twist unfolded. The demolition team had not factored in the resilience of the building's elevator shaft constructed with notably sturdier materials to accommodate its intricate mechanisms. Unlike the surrounding structure, the elevator shaft remained largely intact, defying the explosive forces directed at it. Once the dust had settled and the echoes of the initial detonation subsided, the scene revealed an oddly leaning elevator shaft. It teetered precariously, creating a visual paradox amidst the otherwise reduced building. In the aftermath, there arose a groundswell of public sentiment, a petition emerged advocating for the preservation of the Leaning Tower as a unique and quirky tourist attraction. Many saw the charm and novelty in its unintended creation, envisioning it as a quirky addition to the city's landscape. Despite the appeal of this accidental landmark, practical considerations ultimately prevailed. To pave the way for the new construction project, which promised to reshape the city's skyline, the decision was made to dismantle the Leaning Tower. Are you aware of any other construction blunders reminiscent of these? We'd love to hear about them. 
Feel free to share your suggestions for upcoming projects you'd like us to explore in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.